I am Pranav and I'll be presenting a few solutions to RMO 2019 problem 3. So this is RMO 2019. So this problem is an inequality. Uh, it says that ABC are positive real numbers such that A plus B plus C equals to 1 and we have to prove whatever it's written. So one thing uh, when you are doing an inequality in RMO according to me is like the inequalities are not supposed to be that strong. Like I don't think that they would give a very strong inequality. So like weak stuff such as like using AMGM very loosely or stuff like that would most probably work. Like you won't have to care too much about uh, strengthening the inequality most of the times. But obviously this is like very big idea. So yeah. Anyway, so let's see the problem. So if you see in the denominator, we have A square plus B cube plus C cube, right? Like these are degree three terms. But this is a degree one term. So obviously this is not homogenized. Like homogenized means like degree is same. So to homogenize it, we say, uh, okay, we'll just write this as like sigma A by A square plus B cube plus C cube. So now what we can do is this is A square times one and we are given A plus B plus C equals one. So we can write this as A square times A plus B plus C. So let's call this as S. So now you have S is equals to sigma A by A cube plus A square B plus A square C plus B cube plus C cube. Now uh, we can apply uh, AMGM. Like there are a lot of terms and each has degree three. So it feels... Okay, so like AMGM is the first inequality that you would try, right? So let's just do that basically. So A cube plus A square B plus A square C plus B cube plus C cube is greater than or equal to so there are five terms and fifth root of uh, A to the power seven, B to the power four, C to the power four. So which means that if you take to the power minus one, this this inequality sign will flip to this. And this will go minus one, minus one. So this implies S, which is equal, oh, S will be less. So S is equal to this thing, right? And now using this thing, using one, we'll get that S is less than equal to summation. One by five, you can take out A divided by A to the power seven by five b to the power 4 by 5, c to the power 4 by 5. And we can write this thing as 1 by 5 summation a by a to the power 2 by 5, b to the power 4 by 5, c to the power 4 by 5. We have to show 1 by 5. So whatever I write in green pen, it means we have to show that. Okay. Uh, just for the ease of it. Oh, sorry. Uh, it shouldn't be A here. It should be 1. Because we already cancelled this A with this thing. So, sigma 1 over A to the power 2 by 5, B to the power 4 by 5, C to the power 4 by 5. We would want that this is true, right? Like, see, if this thing is true, then we can just say that this thing is less than equals to 1 by 5 ABC here. And then we will get S is less than equals to 1 by 5 ABC as required. See, this is what we want, right? So now, notice that here, the degrees of A, B, and C, sorry, the powers of A, B, and C exponents add up to 2. But here, the sum is 3. So we'll just write this A as A plus B plus C, right? Okay, we can cancel out this 5. So we have to show that 1 by A to the power 2 by 5, B to the power 4 by 5, C to the power 4 by 5, is less than or equal to 1 by AB plus 1 by BC plus 1 by CA. Now, every term in here has degree sum 2 in the denominator and everything here has degree sum 2 as well. Like, okay, so these degree exponents are in like fraction, right? And sum to 2. The sum here is also 2. So, it's sort of intuitive to apply Muirhead inequality. Okay, for those of you who do not know Muirhead inequality, we'll see another solution which does not use Muirhead. So you can skip to that part. Anyway, so uh, one second. Yep. 
So now notice that one comma one comma zero majorizes two by five, four by five, four by five, right? So we apply mu right on one by a, one by b, one by c, and we get one by a b plus one by b c plus one by c a. Twice of this, uh, you can write all the terms manually and see why there will be a factor of two. Uh, because one and one is there. So like it's symmetric in two terms. Will be greater than or equals to uh, summation 1 by a to the power 2 by 5, b to the power 4 by 5, c to the power 4 by 5, and again a 2. And this is a cyclic sum for those of you who know. And not a symmetric sum. I think yeah, I phrased that correctly. So this 2 cancels out. So we get sigma 1 by a to the power 2 by 5, b to the power 4 by 5, c to the power 4 by 5 is less than or equals to 1 by, sorry, AB plus 1 by BC plus 1 by CA. And this is exactly what we wanted. So we are done. Okay, I'll just quickly summarize this proof formally. So, okay. Uh, yep. So we have S is equals to summation a by a square plus b cube plus c cube. We write this is equal to summation a by uh, we might this times one and a plus b plus c equals to one. So this becomes a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus a square b plus a square c. On applying amgm, we get that this is less than equal to summation a by five fifth root of a to the power 7, b to the power 4, c to the power 4, yes. Which is equals to 1 by 5 summation 1 over a to the power 2 by 5, b to the power 4 by 5, c to the power 4 by 5. Now, applying near head on 1 by a, 1 by b, 1 by c, we get uh, 1 by 5 summation 1 over a to the power 2 by 5, b to the power 4 by 5, c to the power 4 by 5 is less than equals to 1 over 1 by 5 times 1 by ab plus 1 by bc plus 1 by ca, which is equals to 1 over 5 times a plus b plus c over abc, which is equals to 1 by 5 abc. So this gives S is less than or equals to 1 by 5 ABC. Hence proof. So I hope this proof was clear. Uh, let's move on to second proof of this problem. So, oops. Wait, how do I do this? Proof 2. Yep. Uh, I'll just quickly add the problem again. Yeah. So this is the official proof. So uh, when we were solving, we did not come up with this, but uh, we checked the solution file later after solving and we saw that this proof exists. So I'll try to motivate that proof. So in the previous proof as well, we saw the step in which uh, we do like this term becomes A by a cube plus b cube plus c cube. So like homogenizing is a very common step. In almost all the inequalities, you're supposed to homogenize. Almost all, not all, I guess. Okay. So now, if we notice this thing, we can write this by applying AMGM as, so like, oh yeah, this will be greater than or equals to 3ABC. So this whole thing will be greater than or equal to 3abc plus a square b plus a square c. So this implies a over a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus a square b plus a square c will be less than or equals to a over 3abc plus a square b plus a square c. Uh, we can cancel this a out. So this would become 1 over 3bc plus ab plus ac. Okay. Now, mm, 
so notice that the thing which we have to prove right after homogenizing like here everything has degree like the net degree is two in the denominator so we would write this as a plus b plus c over five abc which is basically one by five times one by a b plus one by b c plus one by c a right so we want terms of the form one by a b one by b c one by c a but here we have b c plus a b plus c in one complete denominator right so Oh God, what is happening? Okay, yeah. So uh, what we can do is, uh, yeah. So we can use uh, this inequality. So we want like terms of the form one by BC, one by AB, and one by AC, right? So we can use AM greater than equals to HM. This implies. So notice that there's a three here, right? So we can do. 3 by BC. Let's see. Yeah, 3 by BC plus 1 by AB plus 1 by CA. Okay, I'll write it in a better format. Uh, we can do. So we want 3 times BC, right? So 1 by BC plus 1 by BC plus 1 by BC plus 1 by AB plus 1 by CA over 5 greater than equals to 5 over three times BC plus AB plus CA. So this implies, uh, one over three BC plus AB plus CA is less than equals to one by 25 times three by BC plus one by AB plus one by CA. And if we sum this over, uh, this would become 1 by 25 times. Uh, you can try to do this manually by expanding all the three terms. But this is what you'll get. 5 by BC plus 5 by AB plus 5 by CA, which is equals to 1 by 5 times A plus B plus C over ABC, which is just 1 by 5 ABC as required. Okay. So now I quickly go over the proof again. So what we do is we have S. Okay, let's go to the different pen because it looks cool. S is equal to summation 1 uh, A over A square plus B cube plus C cube. We write this as summation A over A cube plus B cube plus C cube plus A square B plus A square C. Uh, by AMGM, will get that this is less than equals to summation a over 3abc plus a square b plus a square c, which is equals to summation 1 over 3bc plus ab plus ac. By amhm, uh, for more detail, you can like go over the proof again, so, like rewind and go, but I'm just like uh, summarizing the proof here, so I won't go in the details. Uh, this should be less than equals to 1 by 25 times 3 by BC, sorry, summation plus 1 by AB plus 1 by AC, which is equals to 1 by 5 ABC. And hence, S is less than equals to 1 by 5 ABC. Hence, proof. Also, uh, the motivation to combine these three terms here is, you see that there's an A in the numerator. These two terms have an A. So you try to cancel A somehow. And you see, if you apply uh, AMGM here, the A cancels out easily. But I think the next step, like coming up with this AMHM thing is sort of tricky. But if you're like uh, clever enough and notice that, oh, you want terms of this format and you have terms of this format here, you would like just apply AMHM. It feels intuitive after you notice this. But I still like the Murad proof. That feels more intuitive to me personally. But anyways, so that was the solution to RMO29 problem three.